Hello friends. How is everybody doing today? I hope y'all are having a great day. Um, we went into Walgreens and did a little extra couponing this week. We haven't been couponing much at all, only for necessities during this pandemic. We've been living off our stockpile, so I'm curious how is everybody else doing with that. I just figured with three kids at home, uh, less exposure is more. So if I'm not going out and I'm not going into all these stores multiple times a week, I have less chances of bringing it home. And I'm still only doing the grocery store like every, we're, we've been going every week and a half-ish to two weeks. So that's that. So with these beautiful boosters that Walgreens sent us, the 5 off 10, the 5 off 15, we got what? 3 off 18s, we got 3 off 15, 7 off 25, 8s off 28s, 10% off 35, 20% off, 25% off, a 30% off. I picked and choose what I wanted to clip, um, which is kind of crazy. On accident, I clipped a 3 off 18, which $3 still a good coupon, but I wanted to utilize those higher um, dollar amounts off first. And I knew that they were going to disappear. So when I was in store, I unclipped the 3 off 18. And you'll see how that came out. And this was like 10 minutes before I went to the register. I unclipped it. So this first transaction, my plan was to use the 5 off 10. I got um, six of the Renews It cones. They are 89 cents each. And then we have a few options for coupons. We have a buy four, get two free digital. We have a buy four, get two free available on coupons.com. Now that coupon, because these are 89 cents each, will take off $1.78. Or you have a $2 off six digital coupon, which is what I use because it's a little bit higher value. Um, so I didn't clip the other buy four, get two free. I did after this haul, but I didn't prior to because I wanted that $2 to come off. Um, then we did, and then there's a $2 I bought an offer. So it's $5.34 for all six of them. 89 times six, $5.34 minus the $2 digital makes it $3.34. And then $2 back from my Ibotta, oh my word, will make it $1.34. So, or a little over 20 some odd cents each, which is an awesome deal. So the next thing we did was a month long deal of buy two, get one free face care. So I got the Neutrogena Bar Soap, 3.5 ounce, was $3.49. One of the Clean and Clear Jelly Masks was $2.99, and then this guy was the free one. Now on Ibotta, there was a $2 offer for the Neutrogena and $2 free to the Clean and Clear. So that should have been $6 back. However, when I put my receipt in, it didn't catch a Clean and Clear. So it only gave me back $2 for Neutrogena and $2 for the Renews It. I did submit a ticket and I did go in and search afterwards with the barcode and it wasn't pulling up. So they must have removed um, this offer yesterday morning or afternoon, right before we shopped. Um, so the last thing I grabbed on this transaction, yeah, yeah, is, two is this Crest 3D White. It is $2.99, it's a three ounce, and it's on promotion for buy one, get a $2 register reward. So, all of this together, let's see, where's my receipt? Brought us to 11, 12, 14.81. Yes, 14.81. What came off was, as you see, there goes my face bar, face mask, there goes the crest, the renews it's all six of them and then the two dollar manufacturer coupon was the um renews it the dollar off crest was for the one toothpaste and my five dollar off ten dollar purchase didn't come off so i just went ahead and used points i was planning on my subtotal being 681 681 using five thousand points and paying a dollar 81 cash out of pocket however i just went ahead and used the ten thousand points and then paid the dollar 81 still out of pocket. We um, did not get anything back for points, but I did get the $2 register reward back. I did go ahead and call customer service and they gave me back the 5,000 points for not getting um, the threshold coupon coming off. And then we got $2 back on Ibotta from Neutrogena and $2 back from Renews It, which equals $4 back. So this is free plus a 482 money maker. So that still worked out well. Now we put in the next transaction and I actually voided it out because none of my coupons are coming off. And then we put it back in. So I just got stuff that we needed. 
The Oreos are on sale for $2.99 this week. There is check your accounts because there is, I, um, not Ibotta, excuse me, check out 51 and uh, Saving Star offers. It's 50 or 75 cents. It was one of each. So I did submit my ticket to both of those. The Pringles are three for $4. Um, the nice maple syrup, pure maple syrup is $3.99, which is a great deal. So I always grab that and it's really good. And that's coming from Vermonter. And then I got the nice apple juice back there for $2.99. Like I said, just stuff my family needed. And the lactate, because that's all Buddy Boy drinks. And that was $4.49. What came off of this transaction, so there's the prices on everything, was the 5 off 15. And then, oh yes, we also got two Reese's. Those are 75 cents each, so that makes them a dollar fifty. And then this is an older coup digital coupon, but there's a dollar off two digital coupon. So that made them 50 cents or 25 cents each. So my total after that was $13.96. I did go ahead and use that PEBT card. Um, most, a lot of schools, I think there was only like three or four states that didn't participate in the PEBT. But if your children get reduced price or free lunch, we get reduced price, then they put issued out like a month and a half ago here in Vermont, a PEBT card which is pandemic EBT. So we do not receive EBT. However, it's a separate card that came in the mail. I will show it here in a minute and it is white and it says PEBT. So um, yeah, if you think you are eligible and did not get a card because your children do get reduced priced or free lunch, then go ahead and give your school a call and they will have the number of who you would contact. So that is my little spiel on that. So I did not have to pay anything out of pocket on this one because I did use that PEBT card again, as I stated. Um, but I did get 5,000 bonus points back. And that was for the make eight trips and get uh, spend $10 each and get 8,000 points or 5,000 points. So again, we did... Redeem this to for the Oreos to check out 51 and Saving Star. And then we got back the 5K for making eight trips and spending $10 each. So that made this transaction free plus a $6 moneymaker. On the third transaction, we did the Dixie plates, which are buy one, get one free. I got one 48 count plate and one of the 26 count bowls. So one was $3.99, one was free. And then we did the Roto. And that there is an IBC coupon for in the big book of savings at, uh, located in the front of your store where the ads used to be. I just take one of those, put it in my purse so I have it for the month. But these guys were each $8.29. And then this treatment is separate and it's $13.99. The $4 IBC does still apply to all of them. So it will take $4. She just has to scan it once. It'll take four bucks off each of those. Um, and then we have a seven off two digital coupon, a $3 off one, and we have a $5 on one specifically just for this treatment, a 0.34 ounce. Again, this one's $13.99 and this is $8.29, $8.29, The IBC book took the four bucks right off each one, so that minus $16 off. And, excuse you, Chase. Okay, go over with Sissy now. So... There's the Dixie, eight, nine, uh, $3.99, and free, excuse me. And then we got the Rotos, all three of them for $8.29. Come on, Chase, one for $13.99. You'll see the IVC took off that $16. And then my 7 off 25 purchase came off, uh, my 7 off 2, my 3 off 1, and my 75 cent off 2, which left me to pay nine ten. Notice that my $5 for the treatment didn't come off. My subtotal was supposed to be $4.10. I did call customer service. They did issue that 5,000 points for that difference. So had it been 410, I was gonna roll 4,000 points and then just pay tax out of pocket, 10 cents and then the tax. But because it wasn't, I got to roll 5,000 points. Cause you know, I would have added like, even adding a couple candy bars in, then you could have rolled 10,000 points. So this is what I mean about my store. I was a little annoyed. So I did use the 5,000 points and I paid 428 cash out of pocket. Um, we did not get anything point-wise back on this one, but if you submit to Ibotta, which I did with that ticket, you will get back three, 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 so there's nine, and then five on this one. That's $14. So Ibotta gave me back $14 and then 50 cents for um, June level one. So $14.50 back on those 
four products, which, let's see, which made this transaction free in a $10.22 moneymaker. I went backwards. Sorry, y'all. I was going with the receipts, and I was like, wait, that's not my breakdown. I also have Chase jumping up on down, down on me and screaming and doing the most, so you know. So my last transaction I'm trying to resituate is the Pampers were two for 18. Buying three put you in for that $9 price. That made them 27. The Pampers Wapes were $2.50, but there's again a coupon in the big book of savings that'll take off $1.50 on three. You have to buy three. So that makes them $2 each. So it went from $7.50 down to $6. So that brought our subtotal to $33. Nine, 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 and then six dollars. So twenty-seven and six is thirty-three. Now, what should have come off on this one was my eight off twenty-eight, um, my six off three for Pampers diapers. That was a just for you coupon. If you don't have that one, there's a three off two and a two dollar on one. So clip both of those, or there's a six off three on um, the Pampers Easy Ups. And there's also a $3 off two on the Pampers Easy Ups. So you can go ahead and clip the other separate ones if you don't have the six off three. You would get $5 off, which is still awesome. So, I, like I just said, I unclipped that three off 18 before I even headed to the register. So how it applied is beyond me. Um, I expected the eight off 28 to come off, and then the six off three, and then I had a dollar on three Pampers Wipes digital that didn't come off. So, that left my subtotal at $24, and I was thinking it was going to be 19 and change, but it might have worked out better, because I got to roll 20,000 points, I paid the 442 cash out of pocket, and then we did get back 6,000 bonus points when you buy three Pampers diapers, they are on promotion, actually there's a lot of PNG products on this promotion, buy three, get 6,000 points. Okay, so that was awesome. So I did, when I did call customer service with the other issues, I did include this one. I told her, you know, I had unclipped this. She, she could see that I unclipped it. So she went ahead and gave me back 5,000 points for the difference of the 8 off 28 versus the 3 off 18 coming off. So I did get those 5,000 points back and then I got 6,000 points for when you buy three Pampers. So I got 11, I did roll 20,000 points in. I got 11,000 of those points back. So between if you didn't have the points to use, I mean, it's still an amazing deal. So if I didn't use those 20,000 points and still paid 24 bucks and you got six back, amazing. Or six, you know, you get 11 back, duh. That would make it $13 for all six of those items, which I don't know about y'all stores. I know a lot of other women have been showing their stores and they're amazing. Fully stocked, diapers, weights, paper products, paper towels, toilet paper. Our stores be staying wait. I guess we're too far up north here being in Vermont because our stores are looking like I got the last three weights off the shelf. When I took these diapers, I got the last newborn and there was three packs of size ones and I took two of three. That's how our shelves have been staying. Chase, is has this is for um, a friend of ours that's having a baby and we're giving all of these to her. She's not having a baby shower, it's her second child. So we've been buying all the bath products or I, I say we, I mean I have been buying all the bath products, all the Johnson's products with those great $2 coupons and then all this stuff to kind of get her a little give her a little bump so because you know how expensive diapers be so i thought that was a wonderful wonderful deal i paid four dollars and 42 cents out of pocket yes it was a loss of twenty thousand points but like i said i did get 11 of those right back so all together the t my whole total is between all four transactions we used ten dollars and 51 cents out of pocket for cash we got back 1850 on Ibotta, a $2 register reward, and 11,000 points. That equals 3150 back. And we spent 10. So, plus I didn't even write in there I got the money, the dollar or dollar 50 back between Saving Star and Checkout 51, plus all of the points that customer service had given me back. I didn't add those into my totals. And you know, we all see totals a different way, and kind of the way I looked at it was in the first transaction, and I guess I should add it in, but I'm just always like, well, I, I used an extra 5,000 points, and then I just got it back. So I guess it should still count in my totals. But anywho, we all see it differently. I still think this is amazing. So this, I mean, this could even be called a $33 moneymaker between getting those 10,000 points back and 
Yeah, that's what I got back. Five, ten. I got 15,000 points back. I got 15,000 points back from calling customer service. So, amazing. My, my older daughter's here. She said, you got 15,000 points back from being a Karen mom. <laughs> yeah. So, whatever. Like I said, when those coupons don't come off, that's cash out of our pocket. So, but there's only so much the cashiers can do. So, I think this was amazing. I still have some a couple great boosters to use. And they're getting a truck today or tomorrow. So, I really want to go grab some Fabuloso. Those are $1.99 each. Buy two, get 2,000 points. And I also want to get the All in the Snuggle. Now, the Snuggle Fabric Softeners are $2.99. My store was wiped out. And... Um, we have a $3 off two coupon that's for Snuggle or All, and then we have a dollar off one digital coupon. So, and then there was a dollar paper coupon that came out this past Sunday, but my region did not get those. So, yeah, there's a couple great things, and I'm hoping they restock on the Huggies Wipes and the Huggies Pampers because I got to get some of both for Chase. So, I'd like to utilize, I guess now I have that 8 off 28 coupon that still isn't been used. So, yeah. So let me know what you guys got this week. How did you utilize your boosters? And did you shop during the whole big, huge, you know, really stressful pandemic time? Or did you live off your stockpile like us? And I'll be talking to you guys soon. I'm going to go hit CVS and I'll show you what I get. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next one, bye guys.